the attention of the TPM believers, pastors, and sisters. This is the warning message to the TPM pastors, the TPM junior pastors, the TPM elder brothers and the TPM brothers and elder sisters, sisters and junior sisters and the entire believers of the TPM church. Please listen to this message carefully. This message may not be in good taste. This message may hit you hard. This message may be bitter in taste. But it will be healthier to the righteous people. It will be a medicine to those who fall sick due to the false doctrine, false system of living, and false teachings of the TPM Church. Though we do not like to use some hard words which may be abusing, we are compelled to use those words to correct the erring TPM workers. We use only the biblical words to quote their immoral life of the TPM pastors and sisters to correct them and bring them out of the sexual sins and safeguard them and finally to bring out of the false, devilish doctrine and to deliver them from going to hell. Listen carefully. Those who want to correct and come out of the sinful life, you listen to the message. Those who are above God and do not ready to accept any advice or not willing to come out the sinful life, continue to live in TPM way of life, continue your secret sexual sin, and finally go to hell. The Holy Bible says. And the Lord God said, It is not good for a man to be alone, but I will make him a suitable mate. Genesis 2.18 it is not good for man to be alone is the first law that God told the first man when he created him. So, who created him, made him a suitable mate also, made Eve, and gave him help mate, to be his wife. But the TPM pastors say, no, no, we will be alone. We don't want a wife. We will leave the wife and leave the family, and we will live together, will live a family life, without marriage, a man, and a woman. We will live with any woman according to our choice and make her our wife or husband, to take care, to cook food, to serve food, to wash cloth, to clean the house. She will be helpmate without marriage. She will live with me, she will wash even my underwear, she will put oil to my body, she will secretly lie with me. But we will not marry. We will be called saints. We will change our helpmate, unwed wife, our concubine every three years. We will live with many women and enjoy the pleasure of this world secretly. We will do sex secretly. We will say hallelujah, praise the Lord. These TPM pastors violated the first law gave by God to the first man Adam. These TPM pastors violated the law of marriage ordained by God the Creator. These TPM pastors flouted the sanctity of married life by violating the system of marriage and married life. Because these TPM pastors are the most holy and saints that they even give counseling to God. They have power and ability to correct God. They will teach God. They are superior to God. These TPM pastors and sisters are the holiest people in this world. Are they really, right? Is it right according to the Holy Bible to live together without marriage? Is it biblical way of living? Can a spinster and a bachelor live together, stay together in the same house? Can a spinster cook food and serve to a bachelor? Can a spinster wash the clothes of the bachelor? Can a spinster wash the underwear of a bachelor? They do all these evilness inside the faith homes. Is it not adultery that a man and a woman live together without marriage? and serve as a wife? If the fire and the cotton put together, the fire will catch and will completely destroy the cotton. But if TPM pastors and sisters live together they will not lie together, will not do sex, will not do adultery. They will not do prostitution. Is it true? Is it not cock and bull story? Is it believable? So far how they deceive the people? Are they angels? Are they in heaven? Do they not have flesh and blood? Don't they get hungry and thirsty? Do they not have sexual desire? Do they miss their sexual organs to live without sexual desire? Are they eunuchs in the flesh? Are they physically handicapped? Or are they transgender? Why this idiotic, sexual immoralities inside the TPM faith homes among the pastors and sisters? 
Were they born as eunuchs according to the Bible? Or were they made eunuchs by others? Or have they made themselves eunuchs for the sake of kingdom of heaven? If they make themselves eunuchs, is there any medical certificate to get surgery for each one of them? Then, why, in the TPM church, there is immoral sexual relations between pastors and sisters, adultery, fornication, infatuation, desire, male infamy with a man, female indignity with a woman, rape, abortion, infanticide inside there. All are filled with sin and corrupted with sexual immorality. The main cause is the system of living in TPM faith homes. The system of unmarried men and women living together. The system that the pastors and brothers are always idle, do not work for their livelihood. The system that there is no wife that a pastor can be checked and controlled by his wife. The pastors live like Temple Bullock and fulfill his sexual desire with any number of TPM sisters. Is this really the Church of God? Will adultery take place in the congregation of God? Will God's servants commit adultery? Will a man and a woman who do not marry in the congregation of God stay together? Will they have a family together? Will young women cook and eat with young men and stay together? Who gave permission to commit adultery in the name of faith homes? Can men and women in believer families start with houses of faith in each congregation and all cook together and live together? Will there be no adultery? Are they not anointed too? Will society keep silent and idle? Won't the people in the next door hit them with stones? Will the police remain idle? Will the government be watching? Will the law be idle? Every pastor and sister should be in prisons that they will be termed as prostitutes and adulterers. Matthew 7, 5 and 15 to 23rd says, Now hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, yea that work iniquity. Matthew 15, 4-9 further says, For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and, he that curseth father or mother, let him die the death. But yea say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift, by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. And honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God of none effect by your tradition. Ye hypocrites, well did Aces prophecy of you, saying, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoureth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Matthew 16, 6 12 further warns. Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Then understood they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Matthew 23, 13-15 Matthew 23, 27 But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, 
scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones, and of all uncleanness. The Bible clearly says but woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. So if you the TPM believers, you follow them there will be woe unto you also. God is God of just. Will the God of just give Zion to this hypocritic, the TPM pastors and sisters? Never. He will cast them into hell. The Bible clearly says in 1 Corinthians 6, 8-10 to that, Nay, ye do ruin, and defraud, and that your brethren. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Revelation 22, 14, 15 Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without our dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Revelation 21, 8 But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Therefore, we earnestly request the believers of the Pentecostal mission to run away from this wicked people. Come out quickly. This TPM will be destroyed soon. This city of Sodom Gomorrah will be soon be burnt by the fire of God. They will never repent. So far they live with women, they will not come out of their sexual sins. They will not send their woman servants out of TPM church. If there is not ladies all the pastors will wind up and go out of TPM church. They are accustomed to live with many unwed ladies, accustomed to do adultery and fornication. Their sisters are accustomed to do prostitution to satisfy their pastors. All are secretly done. Openly they are saints, secretly they are sinners. Every Saturday they will pray, confess their adultery, they will shout, in their false prophecies they will speak about the sexual sins of others. From Monday they will start doing adultery. They will repeat both adultery and confession with the false hope that God will forgive their adultery and take them to Zion. But it is impossible to God to take them to Zion, since they willfully do their sins. They never repent for their sins. They never stop their sins. God will destroy the entire TPM church. In Hosea 4, 6 God clearly said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Oh, foolish TPM, CPM believers, why should you be destroyed along with the wicked TPM pastors and sisters? Do not join hands with these wicked people anymore. Come out of them immediately. Run away from TPM. Run away from this wicked people. Save yourselves and your children from the destruction to come upon this TPM cult church. May God bless you.